Alrighty, hey there guys, Rooster here again with another product review, and today, without further ado, we have ourselves the Gamester Gear Cruiser PC200 Gaming Headset. Now, let me just point something out. I could be wrong, I mean, I, as far as what I could tell, I'm not, but I believe this is a sister company by Cyba, S-Y-B-A, or maybe it's just their gamer brand, their sub-brand, if you will. Uh, either way, the main brand is Gamester Gear, but I remember it uh, seeing it marketed by Cyba. So, I mean, they make several things like uh, network cards, USB cards, expansion cards, um, peripherals, I guess. I don't think they make keyboards or mice, but anyway. So the point is, it is by Gamester Gear. It is a gaming headset. Uh, so let's go ahead and just quickly cover what it says on the box. Large 57 millimeter drivers. Doesn't say who engineered them. I'm not sure if they make their own. I do eventually want to actually take the unit apart and see what's inside. Let me go ahead and just read what it says. I think some of the English here is a little derpy, but I guess we're going to find out. Engineer with enormous 57mm drivers on each ear. This powerful combination delivers an impressive audio quality that intensifies gameplay. That's subjective. Background music and sounds will seem flawless yet compelling, turning up the level of enter entertainment. I guess the... <laughs> <laughs> what? I actually, um, I've been meaning to review this for a while. I've had the, the headset for a couple of weeks now, or nearly a month. I just haven't gotten around to it. But look at this. I just noticed this for the first time. Zero to three years old with a sad baby face with this alfalfa hair standing up on his head. You can barely see that. But it, I, think it, I think it's saying don't give it to your kids if they're under three, especially if they're not zero. If you give it to your kid that's zero years old. <laughs> God. Okay, we're moving along. Comfortable headband, 57mm uh, drivers, detachable mic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the price in a second here because uh, I have a lot to say about that. Uh, so yeah, here, frequency was, uh, response. Pr that's doesn't really say too much. Now, normally, the response on so many headsets or headphones are pretty much the same, except for slight variations. 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Again, 57mm drivers at 32 ohms. The uh, sound level, the sound floor, is uh, 112 decibels, 1 milliwatt at 1 kilohertz, I suppose. Uh, the cable length isn't quite 6 feet, it's just under 5. It's 4.9 feet at 1.5 meters. Connector type, yeah, you. Uh, it's got a splitter Y cable you'll see for each of the, uh, for the mic and the uh, drivers themselves. So let's go ahead and get it open. The headset's actually already out of the box, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. It comes with interesting packaging, uh, you know, kind of formed to the shape of the uh, headset. So as you see, the headset is not in here. The packaging comes like this. The uh, My cat is attacking the box. I just threw it on the bed. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. I don't know if you can hear that. She's going to... Don't knock it over. Don't knock it. Okay, so much for that. Let's see, but anyway, here's the uh, setup. Headset manual. I mean, what else is there to really say? Um, like I said, it comes with a splitter cable. The gray end is going to be your microphone. The black end is going to be for the headphone. You'll see in a moment. Some protective plastic here, and then all the stuff, including the boom mic, which has a nice, flexible gooseneck. I'll show you in a moment all came in this. So that is garbage, and she's totally distracting me here. So let's go to the Y cable first. Oh, brother. So here is the Y cable. Whoop, can barely. Yeah, you, know, you put your headphone and the headset plug into here. And then here it splits off into microphone and headphone. They're not really labeled. Just remember the uh, color, corresponding color gray for the microphone, black for the headphone, and you'll be fine. And yes, guys, I did forget to say in the beginning, but I am going to be doing an audio test at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to do two separate recordings, one through the PC audio, because that's going to be the most likely scenario that people are going to be using this with. And then I'm going to be plugging it into my uh, Zoom H1 uh, portable recorder, so I can show you the difference in quality. So here's the boom mic, like I said, you know, flexible gooseneck, very nice. Face it any way you want. This is... Not, I believe this is a unidirectional mic. It's not omnidirectional. This little hole right here, you want to be facing that toward your mouth, but not directly in front of your mouth. You're going to get the P's and B's, you know, the puffs of air right in there. That's going to affect your audio. So keep it to the side of your mouth. And let's say this is your mouth. 
don't put it right in front, put it over here. <laughs> that was a horrible um, example. So here is, I believe this is 2.5 millimeter, or 2 millimeter, much smaller, kind of like a cell phone, like the old cell phone connectors, you know, for headsets. But this is going to go into the headset, which is here. And this is exactly what you've been waiting for me to show you, if I can untangle this crap, because I moved so much stuff to do this review. Here's the headset itself. Now, here's, before I even continue, this is where I come into price. Does it look a little plasticky and flimsy? Yes. Does it feel cheap? Does it feel like it may break if you drop it? Yeah, kind of. Yes, it does. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it. The uh, cups are soft. It's not memory foam by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a nice soft foam. It is comfortable for the most part on my head. You have the large drivers right in there. Uh, for extended, you know, use, like over an hour, I think the longest I've kept them on was 45 minutes to an hour. You do feel some sweat, you know, around the cups, around your ears. Uh, you know, that's most headsets, unless they're extremely breathable, I guess. Uh, that's going to happen. But this is Circum Oral. This is going to cover your ears mostly. They're not huge cups, but it does cover my ears for the most part. And again, I was talking about price. I got this on Newegg for $22.99, I believe, or $23.99. Let's just basically say $23. Is it worth the $23? Yes. The audio quality of the drivers isn't awesome. It's a bit flat. It's heavy on the bass, so if you like bass, great. Uh, it's a bit flat for me on the on the highs and mids. It's very midi. Could be a, a little bit better on the highs, and it doesn't feel like, you know, the, the, the drivers aren't right over your ears, obviously, but it doesn't feel like I'm immersed enough, so maybe they feel a little muddy, but they're not horrible. I mean, it's still, you still get an immersive gaming experience. Now, for gaming, yeah, that's another thing. For gaming, this might be fine for most of you. But if you want to listen to music on this, eh, that's where, you know, you put Dream Theater on this thing and it's just not going to happen. Um, I mean, you can try. But and then again, you know, to each their own. Everyone's entitled to their opinion on that. Nice braided cable. I forgot to say that with a little Velcro strap here. And then here is the end. Gold plated, it seems. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Is it all gold plated? Is that, is that gold or is it just a light? I'm not even sure now. It looks gold to me. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, and then here's the um, little head. It's kind of thin. It's kind of small, but it's not a very heavy headset. That's another thing, is that it, it might feel flimsy and very plastic. Because it, is, it is all plastic. There's no metal on this whatsoever. Here's the uh, side. Didn't really show that. This isn't open. This is just, you know what, it actually looks a little bit open in there, but I'm not sure if it actually exposes the rear part of the driver. I don't think so. I think it's just a little mesh there and then directly behind it is plastic so i don't think it's open but uh, again it does feel a little cheap but for the price that i paid i think this is perfectly reasonable the, the price this is totally justified this purchase because it's a personal purchase for me i've never really been fond of headsets i don't like having big bulky things on top of my head weighing me down or just it's not my thing i prefer good earbuds and then a decent you know microphone like my yeti or something of that nature but, um, yeah, so the headband here at the top is kind of thin, but like I said, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. So this, I think, is actually sufficient, uh, at least for me. And then there was something else I want to say. Yeah, the cups themselves, yeah, they a little flexible-ish. It'll melt to your head. You know, they kind of go up and down and uh, a little bit, but not extremely, you know, um, it doesn't articulate a whole lot. Uh, now, the cups themselves, they do come off. Let me go ahead and actually... These, these are kind of annoying to put back on, but right now I'm not going to do it because then I'm going to have a hard time putting it back on, but you can take them off. Just be gentle. Don't rip them off. They have these little plastic nubs around it, and then you can wash them. They're perfectly washable. Just let them dry and then put them back on whenever you want. So, you know, you build up sweat on this eventually. It's going to get kind of gross, and well, that's what happens. That's the nature of the beast. So here is the actual microphone port right here. It's going to be on your left side. Then you take your microphone, attach it here, and then you twist it's got a groove right here, which you can see, you can kind of see it. You want to push that groove in, push it in, and then twist down. And now it's not going to go anywhere, and then you put it to wherever you want. Alrighty guys, well here is the PC200 Gaming Headset by Gamester Gear. This is the uh, first audio test. I did fiddle around with uh, Windows settings, you know, for the recording devices. 
uh, this particular la laptop that I'm on, mine, um, had an issue where I couldn't disable a lot of the uh, noise cancellation options and the, uh, you know, enhancements, if you will. So I think I disabled it now. This should, have, this should have a pretty open sound. It might be a little low because I didn't want the microphone boost under settings to be too high. Uh, shouldn't be getting any puffs of air, really. I'm trying to move it away from my uh, mouth. But this is kind of the ideal location. You don't want to have this. PC 200 gaming, set. that was pretty, probably pretty bad. So, PC 200 gaming headset. This is the first audio test. It is plugged in directly to the laptop, so you may hear a little bit of a hiss. Shouldn't be from the PC over there. Should be just from the fact that this is going through the onboard audio directly into the PC. And normally any PC, whether it's a laptop or desktop, unless it's got some good onboard audio, I guess. Uh, but... My phone just vibrated. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. But um, it should normally, a lot, a lot of times, there's going to be a bit of a hiss because that's all the electronics on the inside interfering a bit. That happens. That's what happens with onboard audio. But up next is the uh, Zoom H1, which I'm going to plug the headset directly into. So it's going to be a lot more full sound, a lot more full of a sound, and more open, more than likely. So, now I am on the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Yes, I almost said the name wrong. But, uh, yep, here it is, right here. Hopefully I sync up this audio correctly. Now, this is not a likely scenario. That This is not the mo more likely way that people are going to be using this headset. You're not going to be just gaming and using it through this. This is silly. This is just for me to um, showcase how much better it can sound. Um, just the microphone alone. Um... Pretty sure there's going to be a much more open, more full sounding, you know, sound uh, via the uh, H1 Handy recorder versus through the uh, onboard, you know, sound of a computer, a uh, sound card and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, minus all the interference of the internal electronics, et cetera, et cetera. So this should have a more full sound. You may even hear more of the uh, ambient noise, like the PC in the background over there, because I have like five running and maybe some of the resonation in the room. The uh, Handy Daddy recorder is currently at 35 input volume. I may amplify it a little, tiny bit in post as I edit if it's too low for, for you guys to hear. But uh, yeah, that is fairly it. Like I said, more than likely you're not going to use it this way, but I'm just showing you how much better it can sound if you want to use it for different scenarios. So this has been the uh, PC200 Gamester... Let me say that again. <laughs> the Gamester Gear PC200 Gaming Headset. Hope you guys have enjoyed the... Uh, review so far and hope it was informative and if you'd like subscribe give the video a like or a dislike if you think it sucked and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe guys see you next time